With AAA games being $60 to $70, we expect solid releases, which shouldn't be too much to ask. Playable games with lots of content offerings, along with no performance problems, shouldn't be that ridiculous, but Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the latest titles to release that people are furious over because they are so terrible, leading the game to drop down to a 2.9 on Metacritic because of how bad the problems are. I have a few things to show off. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Sankaku Complex article. It says Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, a complete disgrace littered with catastrophic bugs. So it says Pokemon Scarlet and Violet may yet go down as Game Freak's most humiliating and embarrassing creation ever as tons of bugs are being discovered nonstop from graphical glitches to performance issues to game breaking glitches. And yet the franchise's worshippers are probably itching to purchase the next title. Now, when it comes to Scarlet and Violet, I personally was very excited for it. I had gotten a Sword and Shield and I was very disappointed with that game. I just felt like it was too short. It was really broken. It had a lot of problems. But then Arceus came out and everybody loved that. I mean, that game did very well. It had awesome reviews and overall it was a great experience so i figured i was going to give scarlet a chance i was going to purchase it play it i was going to hopefully enjoy it but unfortunately this game is just as bad as sword and shield and honestly from what i have seen it is worse i love pokemon i really do i would have loved to play a new pokemon game on the switch and for it to just be a genuinely good experience, but it just seems like Game Freak cannot make a decent title with these 3D graphics that is a solid experience that is worth the price tag. We're not talking about a game that's releasing here from an indie studio that might have some bugs and glitches, and if this title had a couple of bugs and glitches, I'd be fine with it. I don't expect every game to launch and be perfect, but it should be very close to that at this price point from this development team. Unfortunately, though, that's not the title that we got. I'm not going to show all of the clips that are circulating online, but I will show you the most absurd. If you are thinking about getting this game, I would highly recommend that you wait because this is just unacceptable. A game should not be releasing that the game is so broken, you can't even play it. It resets you, it takes away items that you have, uh, your character, as you can see, morphs into a hideous mass. The pop-in is terrible. I just don't know why they thought that this would be acceptable. This game, to me, screams a March or April 2023 release date, but they wanted to push it out before the holidays, so this is the product that we got. And by March or April, I'm sure that it will be patched and it will be fixed and it will be probably the game that they wanted to release, but companies need to learn that they are only going to lose their consumers by doing this. Yes, a lot of people still purchase this game because a lot of people love Pokemon and were very excited for it, but all of the backlash on social media that they have faced does damage their reputation. Even if they want to believe all press, even if it's negative is good, it is not. But heading on over to Metacritic, these games are currently being review bombed. As you can see, the critic reviews are still pretty solid, a 76. I do not think that it deserves a 76 with all of these problems, but the user scores are not as nice. It is sitting at a 2.9 with nearly 2,000 ratings, 383 positives, 109 mixed, 
1,397 negatives. And there are, as it says, a couple hundred positive reviews here. But if you click it and you read them, they're all shills. They're all people saying, you know what, I gave it a 10 out of 10 to counter the zeros and the ones that are being left. This game isn't as bad as some people are saying. There are even people saying things like, are there bugs? Yeah. Is it broken at times? Yeah, but I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10 because this company doesn't deserve zeros. Looking at the negatives though, let's read some of the consumer feedback. A four. It's a shame to say this, but I would have given it an eight out of 10 if the visuals and performance weren't that bad. The game is fun. I like to be honest, but it just looks so bad that it takes all of the enjoyment out of playing it. The only thing that looks good are the characters and the Pokemon models people giving it zeros. There's no excuse for a Switch game to look this bad. This is a billion dollar company making worse looking games than solo developers. I've seen a lot of people blame the Switch on how it looks and the performance. And while yes, I don't expect the Switch to give us the most beautiful graphics in gaming because it's not a powerhouse, Things like Bayonetta 3 are put onto the Switch and they look awesome, but with Pokemon, it's not graphically intensive, it's not action focused, so there's really no excuses for its problems. A 2. This is unacceptable. The game looks extremely ugly, one of the worst 3D graphics I have seen. It runs horrible, low FPS, glitches, animations from hell. You can't change your main clothes like in earlier games. You have to keep wearing the school uniform. They removed the option to disable animations and set mode. The open world is empty and feels fake. I like the catching mechanics in Arceus and here they went back to the old style. Uh, I won. Even without the embarrassment embarrassing amount of severe technical issues, this isn't worth anybody's money. It's an ugly, dead, open-world game without anything intriguing to see or interesting to do other than catching Pokemon. No voice acting, terrible sound design, and no end game. This makes me so sad because I really wanted these games to be good, but this is a problem that a lot of games are facing right now is that developers think that throwing keywords are going to stick with consumers. We have open world, we have Pokemon, we have 3D, but if all of those things do not come together and make a good experience, it's useless. Ever since they went to this open world strategy, they have had so many problems. People have not been happy with their games, and I really think they need to go back to the drawing board and try to think of what consumers want and try to reevaluate their plans for the future because all they're doing at this point is killing this franchise. Pokemon is extremely successful. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, but if they continue to release games like this, more people are going to give up on their content and more people are you know, going to just give up on the brand itself. A lot of us love Pokemon. There have been some amazing games, but these titles are just not worth it. And at this point, I'm writing off any Pokemon games in the near future that release because of how many have been bad in a row. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.